TV. The Rickenbacker, 12 string, 330 fire glow. This was, in a manner of speaking, the beautiful battle axe in the generational war of the 60s. And when George Harrison, the dark, exquisitely handsome and crucially quiet member of the Beatles, oh, hold that thought, when George Harrison struck that G suspended fourth chord that opens the song, A Hard Day's Night, it was as if the black and white monochrome dull world of the 50s had suddenly transformed into the day glow colour of the 60s. supreme ironies about 20th century songwriting when it was starting to get good was we were singing happier songs after we come through the First World War where after flu had wiped out half of Europe and fellas were flinging themselves off the Empire State Building you got towards the end of the 20s early 30s we was heading towards the Second World War and yet people were singing happy songs make yourself happen as pie Jack Payne's BBC Dance Orchestra 1929 and uh, all sorts of stuff like that and uh, the song we're just about here Skies are cloudy and grey They're only grey for a day So wrap your troubles in dreams And dream your troubles away Until that sunshine peeps through There's only one thing to do Wrap your troubles in dreams And dream your troubles Funny that way. No use to grumble, just smile as they fall. Weren't you a king for a day? Hey, just remember the sunshine always follows the rain. And wrap your troubles in dreams and dream your troubles away. The thing is, after the last war, when we got through the 60s, which a lot of people call the party after the war, we came through a bit of a doldrums in the 70s into the 80s, and there was that woman who got voted in. You see, and I'm not saying she was a good thing, but uh, she did help a lot of people buy their own houses, get into the property market, buy bigger ha uh, cars, and wear red braces and stuff like that. And then, and then uh, you'd think everybody'd be happy owning their own stuff and, and having her help to stamp out communism, but. No, no, people was very unhappy about it, some of the musicians. Christ, yep. Yeah. Oh, the luxury of misery is something that I've always had in space. Always had in space. A stale bowl of cornflakes, which is my life, to the flatness of my happy shop of lemonades. If I were flattened by a corporation boss in Wilton Shark, then nobody would notice that I'd been run over. That will never happen, Salford again, oh, oh, oh. because it's been pedestrianised by the BBC. Oh, oh, oh. Luxury of misery.
Ah, got it! What was it, Ted? Rabbit? No, badger! <laughs>